In this video, we want to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of two points. So, let's begin with the two points. These are the ones I've chosen, 4, 3 and 10, minus 7. So, let's see this visually. The coordinates of 4, 3 are here. So, 10 minus 7 will be along and down. So, 10 minus 7 will be about there. So, we want the line, the perpendicular bisector, the line that is perpendicular to this one, that goes through the midpoint of those two points. Sorry, let's try that again. There we are. Okay, so the fact that it's called perpendicular means that it is at right angles to the line that we're considering. And bisector means cut in two, to bisect something. So it must go through the midpoint of the two coordinates. So we're going to need to find the midpoint. That's the first thing that we're going to find. So the midpoint we can find by finding the average of the two x coordinates, so 4 plus 10 then halving, and the average of the y coordinates, so 3 plus minus 7 and then halving. So we get 14 over 2 is 7, uh, minus 4 over 2 is minus 2. So 7 minus 2 are the coordinates of the midpoint. I also then need to find the gradient of this perpendicular line. But the only way to do that is to first find the gradient of the original line. So let's say that this line has gradient m1. So m1 is equal to the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So 3 take away minus 7 divided by 4 take away 10. So we get 10 in the numerator and minus 6 in the denominator, which can be simplified to minus 5 thirds. So that means that the perpendicular line, which we will say has gradient m2, must be the negative reciprocal of minus 5 thirds, so 3 fifths. So the equation of the perpendicular bisector must be y is equal to 3 fifths x plus c. And now I just need to work out what the value of c is. It is very important at this stage to know which point I can substitute in. If I substitute in 4, 3, that will give me this line. If I substitute in 10 minus 7, I will get that line. So I must substitute in the midpoint in order to correct, get the correct line. Okay, so I substitute in 7 minus 2. So the y becomes minus 2, the x becomes 7, so 3 fifths times 7 is 21 over 5. Now 2 is 10 over 5, so this is minus 10 over 5. Take 21 over 5 from both sides, and that will leave me with C. So that's minus 31 over 5. So C is minus 31 over 5. So the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y is equal to 3 fifths x minus 31 over 5. Okay? And that is the equation that I was looking for. Now you can, as we did in the previous video, manipulate that. You could multiply through by 5 if you like. Okay? So multiply through by 5. It really depends what the question's asking you to do. And then you could rearrange it to get it into the format we had before of ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers. But for the moment, just getting to that stage is really what you want to be able to do.